a lot of really amazing programmers use regular expressions. And many of them use regular expressions in a way that mere mortals really can't read or, or hope to be able to write themselves. They're an incredibly powerful technique. They're not a very easy or simple technique. The regular expression explorer is a little Visual Studio add-in that makes them a little more accessible to you. You still have to type in all the magic characters and know what all those magic characters mean. They give you a way to test those expressions as you're building them against various sample strings so that you have some confidence that the arcane list of characters that you're ending up using in your expression will really uh, match what you hope that it will match. Let me show you how it works. Let's start by just talking about regular expressions in general. I have a little web application here under development and I'm going to run it. Here's our page, very simple. If I don't fill anything in and I click the button, I'll get little red stars and reminders that I should, in fact, be filling things in. So in the spirit of uncooperative form fillers in everywhere, I just put some single letters in, and it comes back and says, email is not in a valid format. Well, that's kind of clever. And it's going to continue to do that until I actually type in something like this that will pass the validator that's associated with this particular field. Let me show you how that's done. This is the source for that page. You can see there's one validator on each of first and last name, but there's two on email. And if I come here to the properties, I've got a regular expression validator here. The error message email is not in a valid format. The, the simple text, the red star, and the control to validate, fine. But here's kind of the magic. I'm going to paste this into a notepad so you can see it in a bigger font. This is very close to being gibberish, but it's also a, a regular expression that attempts to validate an email. Uh, mostly what you have going on here is a whole lot of backslash W, which stands for a word character. Letters and numbers and certain kinds of punctuation are word characters. And this says, uh, we'll have one or more word characters, and then everything in the round brackets followed by a star, meaning zero or more of a punctuation character minus plus dot apostrophe, some letters, repeat as necessary, there may be none, and then we'll have an at sign. So before the at sign you might have a single word like Kate, or you might have two words separated by a dot like Kate dot Gregory, or you could have at least one letter, a dot, another at least one letter, a dash, and so on, knocking yourself out before the at sign, and then after we have a similar situation. Um, except that you must have at least one actual dot and then you can carry on having whatever you want after that. So you must have one at sign, you must have one dot after the at sign, and in between you can mostly have what are called word characters. So in a pinch I can read this regular expression, but I did not write it. I got it by hitting the dot 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 here in this properties box and choosing from these things that are offered to me so German phone numbers, Japanese postal codes, and so on. And that's great if the regular expression that you want happens to be magically offered to you, uh, but not so great if you have to make it up yourself. Now I should mention that although the validator control um, here in ASP.NET is one of the places that regular expressions show up, it's by no means the only place. Any kind of searching or filtering uh, that you might want to do in Windows or web applications, regular expression brings you tremendous power and capability. The problem is generating that string of special characters and being confident that it will match the sorts of things you're expecting it to match. And that's where the regular expression explorer comes in. Once it's installed, it's on the tools menu and it brings up this little window. And in this window, I can paste that regular expression that ASP.NET generated for me and test it against things I think should match. So I can put in my own email address and you see the red box around it indicating that it's okay. Something with a dot in it, also okay. Uh, what's not okay? Um,
things that don't have a dot, so there's no red box any more than there is around this or OK. Um, and you can uh, play around with special characters. Doesn't appear to be happy if I put a backslash in the middle of the email address. And get an understanding of whether this particular expression is going to match the email addresses you think people are likely to get and also to avoid false positives. You don't want it to match something that you don't want to accept as an email address. You can use it like this to play around with a regular expression that you got from somewhere. A uh, popular source of regular expressions is the internet and believe me if you go into your favorite search engine and search for regular expressions for email you will find many 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 and you might want to uh, try some of them out in here and see how they work. You can also use it to build your own from scratch. So imagine that you wanted to take phone numbers and you wanted uh, to use a regular expression to validate that they were in a particular format. And the format you wanted was something like uh, number, 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 space, and then four numbers. Well, in regular expression word, uh, we say D for digit, meaning a number. You, know, you can't just type D. That means that you expect there'll be a D in the string. Backslash D, which escapes it out. Three of those, then a space followed by four of them. So that if I type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I get a red box that matches that expression. Some people like to write their phone numbers more like this, and you'll notice that's not matching. Now I could make my users follow my lead, or I could adjust my regular expression. I'm going to take away the space and replace it with square brackets, which means one or the other of, and then type a space and a dash. As soon as I do that, this one here uh, now matches. So I'm slowly building up this phone number matching regular expression. Phone numbers might not be the wisest choice because they're, they're pretty easy to find, but you could be using something for a, a student number at your university or a, a SKU uh, in your company's uh, product line. Now I haven't shown you this drop down box. This is uh, things that sort of come with it. Email address, very popular, but also GUIDs and money and URLs and those sorts of things. And you can actually take your own suggestions and save them and then they'll end up in that box. And this is one of the real strengths and powers of this little add-in. Even the really high-end, regular expression aware developer who's the one person in the company that everybody goes to doesn't write regular expressions every week. And what usually happens is somebody comes and says, I need a regular expression that describes a student ID number or a product SKU or what have you. Oh, I did that about four years ago. Let me see if I can remember where that was. And they start randomly drilling around in their code trying to find you the regular expression. If you are a regular user of this product, you can simply save it. It's kept in the registry. And then you would have those regular expressions available to you to use again on subsequent projects so that you're not uh, trolling around searching for them. It's a way to kind of have an institutional memory and it's also a way to explore in a very lightweight way without having to write any code. I'll put in, uh, I'm just going to put in a test match that I think will work and we'll see whether my expression is up to the, up to the test or not. It will make you better at regular expressions. It will reduce your frustration, and it is definitely worth installing if you ever go near regular expressions.